Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm Jessica Abernathy, and with me today is Trisha Montgomery, and you are listening to Pets Our Family. Hello, Miss Jessica. Hi. What's going on? I am just so excited for our interview oh, coming out today. I, I we know. have been talking about this. I have been talking about this forever and wanting to get um, this amazing person uh, and organization on with us on Pets or Family podcast. I just, um, yeah, we're t- t- guys today. We're talking to Daryl Lawrence, the co-founder of Good Charlie. And they're a company created uh, or, you know, really created designed to create a positive impact on not only energy in the state of Texas, um, and, but also animal welfare. And they're making such a difference in the lives of pets and people. And Jessica, when I told you about this, I'm like, we've got to get them on. You've been stalking these people for over a year. I mean, you've got like, I, <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's almost like a girl crush on the company, let alone you the people, but it's like the company, you know what I mean? It's, you're like, you're stalking the company, you know? It's like, I cracks am. me up, you know? It, yes. It's so I do. funny I, I to me. A, I, have, but, I have a total crush on this company and on the founder. And I, I said, if I think when I first talked to him in person, I go, I go, you know, if we were a dating app, I'd be swiping right. <laughs> cause this, cause this company is, just, they're, they're doing so well. They're doing so well. And I they am are. just they blown are. away by they, their innovation. They saw a problem and instead of just talking about it, they're doing something about it. And we, in our world, we know so many organizations who talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. But don't walk the, and they don't walk the walk. It's great to say you're doing X, Y, and Z, and you're making donations and you're saving lives. But the bottom line is those companies aren't doing anything. And I'm going to get off my soapbox here and step down because this is a beautiful interview. But um, it's amazing to see a company that is actually just looking at a problem and going, we can do something about that. And I think uh, right. we raised over $160,000, I believe. And I, I didn't, I, I, I've got to, I want to ask him, but I think that they've only been around for about less than two years, if memory serves me correctly. And they're, they've got all these animal welfare organizations on board with them. And again, I think I first found out about them through our beautiful friend at Laura's house. Shout out to you, John Lascano at Laura's house. I just adore you as well. Um, and but John Lascano is like your cat, my Kathy Delaney. He <laughs> is. He is. Yeah, I, I love giving a shout out to John Lascano at Laura's house and and our, and, our, and our other teams. But yeah, so let's let's bring on Daryl Lawrence of Good Charlie and get this uh, and get this going here. Let me go, go, go get him for you. Daryl Lawrence, it is our honor. And just, I have been, we have been waiting for this for a long time. It is so very cool that you are on the air with us for Pets or Family. Welcome. Well, thank you ever so much for inviting me on, Trisha, Jessica. I've been a big fan of the podcast for some time now. And finally, the day has come that I'm actually here. So um, thanks so much for inviting me. It's good to be here. <laughs> A round of applause for for that. Daryl, I first found out about your company, your organization, through one of our beautiful friends at Pets or Family, and that is John Lascano from Laura's House. He was talking about you and just the, the unique nature of Good Charlie, and I was so intrigued by this. I think it was over a year ago, I think I, I, I probably began stalking you. <laughs> So, so you're the one. <laughs> sure, I, <did. laughs> I, was, I was stalking you, and I thought, oh my gosh! And I had reached out actually to your team, and uh, had talked a little bit to them. But you are not only committed to energy and and really sustainability within the planet, but you're also committed to animal welfare. And especially in, in Texas, 
And I caught an interview with you. I think it was through uh, KT, KZTV 10. And I was reading about just your dedication and passion. I'm just going to, it's hard for me to be quiet, but I'm going to be quiet and let you talk a little bit about you and the journey that brought you here. Yeah, it has been quite the journey. And I appreciate that introduction, Tricia. Um, essentially, you can probably tell from my accent that I'm not a native New Yorker. Um, I actually come from the UK and I've spent the last 25 years in the energy industry. Um, and I've worked in the UK for the largest energy companies um, in the European energy markets. I then got assignment to Canada and worked in the Canadian markets, you know, promoting and setting up energy companies. And then I got an assignment to come down to Texas to help build an energy company in Texas. Um, and my experience was that energy companies, they all say pretty much the same thing. They say, we're the cleanest, we're the greenest, we're the cheapest, you should join us. Um, and there's no real differentiation or mission with any of these energy companies. So my co-founder um, and I, um, we had an idea. And when we come across the fact that Texas kills more dogs than any other state, we thought that's a problem that needs to be solved. And we can use our energy and our experience and our expertise to do good. We can power local communities to help the stray animal crisis in Texas. So that's how Good Charlie was born. Um, Charlie is the name of my dog. Uh, and we thought, OK, then what we can do is set up an energy company based in Texas, aimed at pet lovers who wants to do good with their energy to help the stray animal crisis. Um, so what we decided to do is any customer that joins Good Charlie, we will round up your energy bill at no cost to you and we will donate the proceeds to animal welfare organizations throughout Texas. So we have over a hundred different animal rescues that we donate to every single month. Um, I love the fact that you did that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I, I love the fact that you no. named it after your dog. I, yeah, I'm so sorry, but I think that's great. I just thought it was just a generic, a good Charlie, like, you know, like good Snoopy, you know what I mean? But that you actually named it after a dog. That's amazing to me, sorry, but I love it. <laughs> Well, I appreciate it because and, and, Charlie is such a friendly, lovable dog. And any dog that he meets, they're barking at him. And he just literally goes up to him and rolls over on his back to say, look, I'm just want to be your friend. So he's like, good Charlie is going to be the beacon of hope for these underdogs, if you like. And we can use that to kind of do good in the, in the, in the world, specifically the um, Texas market. We got to get good Charlie. Well, like we need a picture of Charlie. Yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's why he, he, he really is. He's saving um, the and, world. And, well, he, we're, we're trying one kind of one step at a time. Um, but if you go onto <laughs> our website, goodcharlie.com, you'll see how much we've rounded up and it really mounts up really fast. So uh, over $160,000 we've already donated um, and we want to do so much more. Um, and what else we thought would be good is if we gave our pack and we call our customers our pack, if we gave our pack some other benefits to help them care for their dogs. Um, so what we actually do is every customer will receive a 24 seven video vet service, completely free of charge, um, which basically means that if you've got a, a dog or you've got a cat and we cover up to five pets, if you've got a problem um, and you're not sure what it is, but you don't want to see the vet because they're costly, you can literally go into your My Account portal of Good Charlie, where you'd see your energy usage and your consumption and your insights um, and your tools to manage your energy supply. And you can click a button and within 30 seconds, you can be speaking with a licensed vet. Um, so you can say, hey, how does his teeth look? How does his paw look? He's been having diarrhea, whatever it may be. And that vet is going to give you professional advice, um, completely free of charge, because we believe all dogs should be catered for. Um, and cats should be catered for. Um, and essentially, we've got a vet there on standby waiting to hear your problem, your concern, your question. Um, so that's there. Then we thought, wait a minute, we want to do more. So we said, what about those dogs and cats who have an accident, has an emergency that the owner can't afford to pay? So we said, if your dog or your cat has an emergency and it needs to go to the emergency room and it's a life or death situation, we will pay up to $750 for that emergency. We pay the vet direct at no cost to you. Um, so we pay that first $750 to help that financial burden just a little more easier for you. So there's quite a lot to unpack there. There's the obviously the low rate energy rates that we offer, fixed plans, so there's no tricks, gimmicks or gotchas. Then we offer the free vet service, 
the free $750 emergency fund. And then I think most importantly of all, we round up your energy bill and donate it to welfare organizations throughout the state of Texas, um, which I think is, is incredible. And, and that's a part of our job that me and the team really love. And that those pet perks are at no additional cost. No additional Completely cost to free. that, to their, your customer. No that's, additional cost. I just, why, why don't we do this in Florida? Why don't we do this everywhere? Well, I can see, and I think when I first saw your website, I'm like, you guys have got to be in Chicago. You've got to be in Georgia. You've got to be in Florida. Um, I am just so captivated by your commitment to, to animal welfare. And, and I, you know, I've been in the animal welfare for quite some time now. And, and we know that Texas is just so high on the list for euthanasia and just for one of the top states for that. Daryl, why, why is that? Why do you, why do you think Texas is, is number one for that? Well, I think it's one of it's because it's one of the biggest states, um, and I think you've got an overcrowded population. Um, so, obviously, the the cure here is obviously prevention here. So, spay and neuter is the key, and that's where a lot of our proceeds and donations go to kind of help that. We partner with the best partners in the state to make that happen. So we make sure our donations are doing good and doing exactly what we need it to do to help with this crisis that we've got on our hands. I just, just, I just in, I'm, incredible. I'm yeah. Yeah. It makes it's, you want to move. It, it, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's a serious <laughs> issue. Um, and, and it makes us feel like every, the team here, we've got a small skeleton team of experienced veteran energy um, professionals. We know the market inside and out, and we've, cr we've been able to recruit the best because of our mission and what we stand for. So unlike other energy companies, we stand on something, we have a mission, we know what we're trying to achieve, and it feels good every morning serving energy where you know it's going to do good. Whether the amount of customers using our vet service, the amount of customers having these accidents and these emergencies that we're willing to pay um, is helping. And obviously the donations every month and seeing the good that it does is really rewarding from an energy standpoint. Um, when you take energy as a commodity, we've really, really made it something more than just a commodity which is something I'm, I'm proud of. I, I am so proud of you. I, I, I told you this, you're on this pedestal. I just, I absolutely adore you. Um, you also, there are, there, um, whenever we have a, um, lot, many organizations, when they, you get a, a commission or, or you get a, you get a, not a, not a kickback for it, but donations coming to you. There's often a charge for that. There's often a kind of a, you know, you give me this and I'm going to give you that. You don't do that. Any rescue within Texas who wants to sign up within the Good Charlie program, all they need to do basically is sign up and make sure they're a 501c3 and an accredited organization. Is that correct, Daryl? Uh, absolutely. Yes. So, so if you go on to, if you're a rescue and you want additional funding, you want additional help, if you go on goodcharlie.com, and then go to our impact page, you will see an intake form that will ask you some questions about your organizations. You simply apply, we'll bring you onto the program, and then obviously any customer that selects your rescue as their chosen rescue, who they want to donate to, um, will obviously donations will go to you directly. And how you use that fund is completely up to you. Um, we just donate the wow. money and we know that you use the money how you see fit. So whatever you want to use that money for, is fine by us because you have a professionals, you have a boots on the grounds that obviously will use this money the best way. That's not our expertise. We just provide you the funding. And so those funds are not restricted in any way. What, yeah, whatever way they see, they deem appropriate to do well or do 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 well by doing good, uh, that that it, it does go directly to those resources. That's that's absolutely outstanding. And I have to say, you are not just stopping there, Daryl. You're not. You guys are having a super amazing event coming up. Uh, I believe it is April the 27th. Uh, and you are doing a massive adoption drive throughout Texas. Talk to us about this. You've got a, a ton of animal rescues on board. You've got a, I think you've got a goal of, uh, is it a hundred, is it a thousand adoptions, a hundred adoptions? 
it, so the, the event is the Adoption Palooza, um, and it's going to be on Saturday, the 27th, um, and it's going to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's going to be at 1314 Britmore Road, Houston, Texas, 77043. So if you're free on Saturday um, and you want to come down, even if you're not in the market to adopt, please come down. There's going to be food trucks there. There's going to be a raffle there. There's going to be fun. There's going to be 15 different rescues with adoptable dogs um, and cats. Wow. But you can come, you can adopt, and Good Charlie will be there. And we hope to kind of have over 100 different adoptions on that day. Um, and once again, we're in the community. We're trying to do the right thing. We want to get these dogs adopted. And our plan is to adopt over 100 different dogs and cats on that day. There's, like I said, there's going to be a lot of fun there. So bring the family down. It'll be a great morning. Um, and if you're free, it's Saturday the 27th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And that's 1314 Britmore Road. Um, if you're local to Houston, it's powder cake. So if you drink beer and you like volleyball, you'll know a powder cake. It's in that facility there. And we're going to have a lot of cats and a lot of dogs ready for adoption. And it's going to be a great event. So it's going to be a fun one. I, I, I want to go. I want to go. That sounds just absolutely fantastic. I think we're talking about having a crew on, on hand there to do some live videos and to do some interviews as well for, on behalf of pets or family. Daryl, you're making such a meaningful impact on animal welfare, the energy, and just pets and people's lives as a whole. You just are. And, you know, we talk much about access to care, that it's not available, especially in Texas and some of the, out, uh, the hinterlands, the outlying areas. There's just not access to care and providing those, your, your customers with a you know free thirty second you know thirty seconds within I can talk to a licensed veterinarian and I want to point that out to our audience because there's a lot of services out there that do not use licensed veterinarians and it's you know um, and that's important the licensed veterinarian is super super important veterinary technicians are just doing a beautiful amazing job um, but there is something about having a licensed veterinarian uh, with you during those conversations and and that care that, that's given as well. I, I think this is such an incredible reflection on you and what you're doing for Texas, for animals, for people. I, 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 I just love, love this. Well, I really appreciate it, Trisha. And um, essentially, I would say if you have a cat or a dog and you use electricity and you live in Texas, there's no reason why you wouldn't want to be with Good Charlie. It's the same electricity that you'd get from a different provider. It may be a little bit cheaper and you're going to get all these benefits. You're going to get that vet service. You're going to get that emergency fund just in case. And we're going to round up your energy bill and donate the proceeds to a great cause. So you can really use your energy for good. Um, so there's no reason why you wouldn't want to join Good Charlie. So please check us out, goodcharlie.com. Um, the event on the 27th, if you can't come, please follow us on Instagram. We're going to have a live feed. We're going to be doing lots of different posts. So it will feel like you're there. That's at my good Charlie. So go on Instagram at my good Charlie and follow us along there. And you'll be able to see all the fun stuff that we're up to as well. Oh, we'll be posting a bunch about that for you. If you are able to come along um, and every single registrant of the event is going to be eligible for one month free electricity on Good Charlie. So if you do register, and you can Stop register it. through one of our partner, Houston Pets Alive. Nope, we're, we keep giving. It's crazy. It's absurd. But we want to give. That's for the company that we are. So you go on to Houston Pets Alive. You register for the event. Um, and then we're going to give one month free electricity to every registrant. They're also going to get a free doggy bag, takeaway bag as well um, when they come to the event. So there's a reason why you should come down. Well, You're there you go. I mean, and giving yeah, you're just giving and giving and giving, and it's just reaping rewards for others. Oh, you're, and I've got I've want... got a lot of friends over there. <laughs> I've got a lot of go. friends in Houston. There you go. So one month free electricity for every registrant. <laughs> I'm thinking I look good in in a cowboy hat, and I got some great cowboy boots that say "Purr and Meow" on them. And they're kind of cool. So I, I may wind up in you know, Texas, maybe my next stop. Who knows? I I'm like so. a tumbleweed. We I would love to have you, Tricia. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great I, state. And we know how, how um, much people care about their yes. animals and their pets and their loved ones. And it's just a great state to be in. Um, like I said, I've been here for now for 12 years. I love Texas. 
and it feels good knowing that my energy is being used for good and I'm hopefully contributing to a good cause. Yeah, I agree. I used to live in San Antonio, Texas. I was on Bear Road, B-E-X-A-R, right beside the Big Boot in San Antonio Mall. I would live there for like maybe about a year. So um, yeah, that was just interesting. And I'm going to be in San Antonio, Texas. I'm going to be in San Antonio, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to see you at the time because we are heading to the HSUS conference, and I'm actually hosting a roundtable. And I'm going to highlight your... um, your lovely good Charlie as well during that round table, because we're going to be talking about partnerships and community um, and, and helping out those rescues as well. And, and the, what the steps that we can take, but HSUS show is coming up on the 13th, I believe for the 17th of May. And I think we're going to hopefully make plans to see you there too, uh, Daryl. Um, but gosh, Daryl, it was our honor to have you on here. Uh, you're, you're just doing such amazing work. You're such a, you're, I love talking to you. You're fun to talk to. You're always in a, a beautiful mood. It's very positive. That's P-A-W-S-I-T-I-V-E, positive energy. I love that. I saw the Is there there. anything else that you want to leave us with and, and how can we serve you? Um, I really appreciate what you mentioned about raising the awareness and bringing us up at the round table. And I think that's the core thing that I would ask, as in raise awareness, not just of good Charlie and energy, which hopefully we, we can help, but more of the stray animal crisis that Texas is experiencing and what people can do to come together and help this issue. Um, and it really is a serious issue. And we're trying our best using our energy for good to contribute. But there's a problem in Texas that we need to solve. There's some fantastic organizations that you can donate to, you can volunteer, um, and you can obviously be part of that movement. Um, we're trying to do what we can. And if your energy provider is coming up to, uh, out of contract, then feel free to check us out. We'll give you a great rate, great customer experience and all these benefits and your energy will be used for good to give back to these local communities and rescues that really need it. Oh man, that's amazing. Thank Absolutely. you for everything you're doing. Yeah. Daryl, you, you could spend your time with anybody this morning. I know it was a, a, we had a little issues com- you know, with the times and everything like that. I'm so glad. Thank you for taking and making the time with us. And on behalf of Petzer family, thank you for everything that you and good Charlie are doing for others. Hey, no problem. And guys, keep up the great work. You've got a fantastic podcast. I enjoy listening to you guys. I enjoy the singing. I enjoy the drinking talk. Um, so keep up the good work and hopefully we'll all patch up again soon. All right. All right. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. So you forgot to tell me he has an accent because I'm a sucker for an accent. <laughs> He, he started talking and I was, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, I can see the girl crush now. <laughs> hey, he loves Absolutely. animals. He named the, yeah, he named the company after his dog. He's trying to rescue the world and he's cute and he's doing good and he's got a, and he's got an accent and I'm like, okay, I get the girl crush on the company and the man. <laughs> I just checked all the boxes there. He's like, <laughs> he's going to listen yeah. to this and go, oh my God, I'm never going to work with those people again. No, he won't. He's, he's such a good guy. And I, um, you know, he's just doing so absolutely amazing. And I think, you know, I look at them and I am, I, and they're continuing to take it to the next level. This adoption event, you know, coordinating food trucks at, at, at the powder keg in, in Houston, Texas, and doing all these things to make it like, hey, we're doing this. This is a great, fun experience. It's going to be a member of your family. But even if you're not going to adopt, come on down and have some fun with us. April 27th, yeah. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I mean, guys, get down there. Get down there. Get down there and enjoy this time. And it, and, and Jessica, I think you reached, you said that you have about 400 people within the Houston area of that are in your pet no. network that you... Not in the Houston area, in Texas, you know, all over Texas. Okay, got it. All over Texas. Yeah, I'm like, um, yeah, I'm not that popular. <laughs> oh, like Beyonce, Texas Hold'em. The same Texas. Don't do that because I won't be able to get this up. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm like, come on, YouTube is Vicky. <laughs> For all those who don't sing it. I was trying to sing, singing, trying to sing a rendition nope. of Beyonce's newest song. Nope. <laughs>
Nope. Not a Pokemon. Nope. I won't let you. <laughs> nope. Nope. You just won't let me so put this they, up. They, bottom line, these guys are improving the lives of dogs in Texas by linking their energy services to animal welfare. And it sets them apart in the energy sector and it reflects their commitment to making a meaningful pack, in, impact on society. And just, you know, there is no box. They're looking outside of a different- They're helping to solve a crisis. They are, they are. And there is an animal welfare crisis all over the country and, yeah. and, and especially Texas, they're the largest state and they actually have, you know, the least amount of really some of that, those regulations or, or things and guidelines that should, you know, that is our guiding force. And to, to have a televet service where, where those people in the outlying areas can call a veterinarian and be on the line with that veterinarian within 30 seconds. Hands yeah. down, pause down. Nope. And they're, and, they're, and then also, they're making a difference. A, an emergency fund. Your dog gets, get, dog, yeah. dog gets hit by a car, he gets something to happen, he swallows something, whatever. They're giving you seven hundred and fifty dollars to the vet, service. to the veterinarian. I was That's like crazy. I know. And I know. I saw that. I wrote that head. down. I was like, I'm gonna, "What?" It's like I want to move. What? I want to move. Did you? I, like, <laughs> I got, I got the, I got the cowboy boots. I got the hat. Okay, you have I'm cowboy boots that head. have. <laughs> I when you said you have cow a picture. Yeah. <laughs> I want and those wait, pictures because we're gonna have, have Justin. Who's <laughs> I they do. They have fangs on their them. They have and there's like blood coming like little fangs and it's like and they're so cute, they're black and red. And I will tell you a quick story about these cowboy boots. <laughs> I was in Nashville for a conference and it was the um it was for my own company, K9 Fit Club. And uh, we had been invited to this massive conference. That's when kind of got signed to William Morris Endeavors and everything like that. But anyway, long story short, we passed by, my friend, my friend Doug and I passed so by cute. this this Nashville boot store, cowboy boot store. And we walked in and I saw those boots. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to try them on. And I tried them on and I walked around the store and I walked around the store and I was like, oh my goodness gracious, I'm looking kind of hot. And he's like, I'm not going to get them. I looked at the price tag. And this was, oh gosh, this was going back 2000 and I don't know, it was probably 2013. No, it was, anyway, listen, so they were over a thousand dollars. And I'm like, I don't have that kind of money. I can't do it. So I, with every bit of my might, put the boots on the uh, shelf, and I said, "Okay." And they not they have fangs and say "purr" on them. Purr and meow. Are they made out and of meow. alligator or something? I don't know what they're made out of, but they're super cool. Anyway, so I put them back on the shelf, and I said, "I'm not going to do this." And we walked halfway down the street, and my lovely friend Doug said to me, I'm so glad you didn't do that. That wouldn't have been prudent of you. First of all, prudent isn't the word that is ever associated with this girl in my life. Okay, that's like, to me, that was like challenge accepted. All right, I'm going back. I, did, I turned around and I whipped my head around like Linda Blair from The Exorcist. It must have turned around like three times and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so... I marched back into that that Nashville boot store, <laughs> grabbed them hey, and and I and I laid down my ex husband. Well, and Trisha's power just went out. So, who knows? I guess we're not going to get the end of that story. So we don't even know how many times Trisha wore the boots. Well, we'll have to get that on another st another story. It kills me because I want to know. Huh, I want to know as bad as you guys do. So anyway, thank you for listening to us. We all love you very, very much. And we will see you guys next week. Mwah!
So thank you to all our sponsors. Thank you for to Good Charlie. If you have, if you live in Texas, sign up for Good Charlie. They're doing great. Get your rescue to sign up for them. We want to get as many people as we possibly can on there because we want to save dogs. Um, hi, Kathy Delaney. We love naps. If you're looking for a pro professional pet sitter, run over to um, Naps and find yourself a professional pet sitter. My earbuds are falling out. And we want to say um, Green Line Pet Supply. We want to go over there and get our poop bags because we want to save the earth. It's still Earth Month. We want to go over to Augie Bones. Definitely want to get your guys' um, uh, bones over there. So definitely check those guys out. We want to say hi to Forged and Form because we're definitely going to be giving away something for Mother's Day. So check them out. We're also going to be giving away a Father's Day gift. So we want to go over there. They're um, our partners over there. Um, pet insurance, we're working with them. You know what I mean? So you're going to find links in our notes starting this week. We are affiliates with them. So just so you know, we do get a little bit of a kickback. So I just want to make sure you guys know that. But once again, we want to say, um, say thank you to all our partners, um, Volition Veterinarian. We love everybody that's been helping us and supporting us. Make sure you like us, um, like us, click the button, listen to us, click all of it and everything and like that. So we love you guys and we will see you next week. Mwah. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thanks for listening to Pets Are Family. You can find us on all the channels now. Yes, all the channels now. So make sure you share us with your friends, your families, and your coworkers, and anybody that has a pet. Make sure you like us, give us your feedback, tell us if anything that you want us to talk about, all that fun stuff. You can reach me at Jessica at petsourfamily.net or Trisha at petsourfamily.net. Thank you for everything that you guys do, but make sure you like us, subscribe, um, check us out on YouTube. You can always see what we're up to. And we want to thank all of our sponsors, all of the people that support us. We love every one of you and we can't thank you enough. And remember, check out Moose's March, moosesmarch.com, M-O-O-S-E-S-M-A-R-C-H.com. Come check us out. Talk to you guys soon. We'll see you next week.